Right guys, so today I'm going to talk about some UFC and this upcoming weekend. Is Corey Sandhagen going to be able to tame the snake? AKA beat TJ Dillashaw. Now this is quite a tough one because it's completely dependent on how Dillashaw turns up. Dillashaw has obviously been out now for two years due to a steroid ban and the last time we saw him he didn't look so great got knocked out by Henry Cejudo and he was supposed to have an, a striking advantage over Cejudo you know obviously he moved down weight so you have to question how much that factored into that fight how much did TJ Dillashaw drain himself for that and did that impact his endurance but also he's sort of 35 going on 36 now how much has he got left at this point how much has he got left and Corey Sandhagen is kind of like the new kid on the block he kind of looks incredible. I mean, obviously, he got submitted very, very quickly by Aljamain Sterling, but Sterling's an incredible Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. And Dillashaw possesses a lot of skills, but that's not a skill set he has. He's not going to go out there and submit Sandhagen. So I think this is going to be a striking match, and I think it's fun. You know, both got good footwork. I think Dillashaw's more of a kicker. I mean, Sandhagen can kick too, but he's sort of elbows, knees, punches... More of that sort of thing. Like, I think they're both really, really clever in the way that they fight. And I would probably have said a couple of years ago that Dillashaw would have stopped someone like Sandhagen. Because he just had so much about him. He had so much about him. But the thing is, is Dillashaw has... Whilst his footwork is incredible and it's very, very unique, I've not really ever seen footwork like his in MMA. I know a lot of people compare him to Dominic Cruz, but it's not really quite the same. Because Dillashaw uses his footwork to set up knockout shots as well as evade damage the thing is he gets hit quite a bit he was hit by Cody Garbrandt he was hit by Henry Cejudo you know he's not exactly someone that doesn't take damage and I think that Sandhagen's setup so probably going to be the key to victory here so I actually think even though even though Dillashaw, Dillashaw could come back and prove me wrong here Dillashaw could come back and he could wipe the fucking floor with Sandhagen and it'd be like, wow, you know, Dillashaw's back. Is he going to win the title back? Because I think him versus Peter Yarn would also be a very interesting fight. But I'd also like to see Sandhagen versus Yarn. It's just the fact that Dillashaw is a bigger name at this point. So that's probably the more compelling fight for the sort of casual audience. So I think the UFC is going to want Dillashaw to win this one. <clears throat> Make no mistake about it, Dana White will be smiling like a Cheshire cat if TJ Dillashaw comes back and destroys Sandhagen like this. Because they don't really care that he was banned for steroids. So I care about that, and I want Sandhagen to win. I think Sandhagen will win. The UFC don't give a fuck. So, I think this is how it's going to go down. I think the first round, they're going to size each other up... Um, I do feel as though Dillashaw will probably get the advantage. I think I, I feel as though he might be slightly quicker than Sandhagen. I mean, I might have got that wrong. Obviously, Sandhagen's just landed a flying knee on Frankie Edgar, who's a pretty quick fighter, so I'm not saying it will matter, but I do think Dillashaw probably does have a bit of a speed advantage there. But <clears throat> I think Dillashaw will probably take the first round with some leg kicks and some sort of unorthodox movement and all that sort of thing. I don't know, I've got this feeling that Sandhagen's just going to wipe him out in the second round. Like, he's so clever. He just... He reads what people are going to do. He reads what people are doing, and then he reacts to it. And I think, you know, he's going to end He's going to end up finding Dillashaw's timing, landing a head kick, or maybe a big straight right. He's going to land it at the perfect time. <clears throat> Dillashaw's going to get wobbly, and then Sandhagen's going to, going to stop him. I honestly think that's going to happen. So I'm going to I'm going to say here that Sandhagen is going to tame the snake, and he's going to stop Dillashaw in round two, TKO. Guys, again, I'm getting towards 1,000 subscribers now, so I'd appreciate the support of a subscription, and obviously like the video if you enjoyed my opinion. Again, it is just my opinion. Please please leave yours in the comment section. But I do believe that Sandhagen will get past TJ Dillashaw and earn a shot at Peter Yarn. Thank you.